Ainet, good to see you and happy new year. Uh, India and the US are strategic allies and India currently holds the chair of G20. Uh, Prime Minister Modi recently had a conversation with President Zelensky and also uh, Russian President Putin. Uh, how would you react if uh, India were to mediate between Russia and Ukraine and bring an end to this war because that's what the world needs. Uh, and uh, you know, India and US being close partners, how would you react to it, uh, this? Uh, are you aware of any back channels happening currently as we speak? Uh, thanks, thanks very much for the question. Uh, so on this, we are engaging very closely with all of our allies and partners around the world on the question of Russia's brutal aggression uh, against Ukraine. Uh, of course, that includes India. Uh, the international community firmly recognizes uh, the need to hold Russia to account for the atrocities uh, that it's committed um, and that its forces are committing uh, in Ukraine. Uh, Russia's war has uh, affected not only Ukraine, as important as uh, Ukraine is and uh, this conflict, this war that Russia is perpetrating against Ukraine is, uh, this is uh, much bigger uh, in a sense. It has affected countries uh, around the world in any number of ways. Uh, Foreign Minister Jai Shankar uh, stated during his uh, November visit to Moscow uh, that this war in the aftermath of two years of the COVID pandemic uh, has caused significant economic pain, uh, particularly to uh, developing countries. Uh, we've also have seen a spike in food prices, a spike in energy prices, uh, upwards uh, in uh, pressure on uh, inflation around the world. Uh, all of these are exacerbated by Russia's illegal, unprovoked war against Ukraine. Uh, we have been in regular close contact with India uh, regarding what we can do to hold Russia accountable and to impose additional costs uh, on Russia for its war. Uh, we may not always share the, the precisely the same policy approaches, but we both share a commitment to upholding a rules-based international order that respects territorial integrity uh, and sovereignty. That is at the heart of uh, our global strategic partnership with India. It is at the heart of what we seek to do with the Quad, uh, with the other um, uh, bilateral and multilateral work we do with our India, our Indian partners. Uh, we agree very much with India that the restoration of an enduring peace uh, in Ukraine uh, is essential. This is uh, the same message that President Zelensky himself has issued. Uh, during the G20, uh, he spoke to the assembled world leaders, uh, laid out his vision for uh, a just peace. This is something that uh, we very much welcome. Uh, we do welcome India's support for the people of Ukraine. Uh, India has provided humanitarian assistance and calls by India for an immediate end to Russia's brutal war against Ukraine. Uh, we also very much agree with Prime Minister Modi's assertion that today is today's era is not an era of war. Uh, of course, that was a comment that was echoed at the G20. We've heard that comment uh, at the UN uh, as well. Uh, and we do believe that countries like India, uh, countries that have a relationship uh, with Russia uh, and with Ukraine, may be in a position to help bring about dialogue and diplomacy uh, that could one day put an end to this war. I say one day, and I put this in the conditional, uh, because there is one country uh, that, of course, has demonstrated no willingness uh, to put an end to this war, to end uh, the brutal aggression, and that, of course, uh, is Russia. Even uh, in the context of recent discussions, uh, we took note of a, the Kremlin statement uh, that the Kremlin is willing to engage in dialogue, but only if the new territorial realities are recognized. Uh, that is a clear a sign as any uh, that Moscow has no genuine appetite uh, to engage in dialogue and diplomacy that will lead to a just uh, and durable peace. Uh, we ultimately hope to alter that calculus. We seek to alter that calculus by continuing to provide Ukraine with the security assistance it needs. Of course, we announced uh, a significant package of security assistance today, uh, just as we continue to hold uh, Russia uh, and senior Russian decision makers to account 
uh, for this brutal war. It is ultimately our hope that as Moscow's calculus changes, as it comes to recognize uh, that this war has been and will be uh, a strategic failure, uh, that Moscow will become more interested uh, in genuine dialogue and genuine diplomacy that leads to a just and durable peace. Uh, and we're confident that countries like India uh, at that moment may have a particular role to play, and we welcome that.